Hey, what's up? D Power here. Uh, this is 2003 Mustang. I got sequential taillights in here. I'm going to show you how to slow them down if they're a little too fast for you. Uh, and we're going to spend under two dollars instead of going out and buying a whole new uh, turn signal flasher. So, I'm going to start off by step one locating your flasher, which uh, on a Mustang from I believe uh, 99 to 04. It's going to be up underneath the dash, past your uh, OBD, and it's going to be yellow. Uh, so, I need a light, and I use one of these uh, plastic tabs. Uh, works great. Here, I already know where mine's at, but you can feel it. There we go. And here's what it looks like. Gonna be this uh, this nice yellow piece here. That is the actual uh, flasher. And here, I like to use this is so I could get up under here and pry it without breaking the tab and just pulling this out. There we go. And that is your flasher. So now we have to get the uh, electronics out of this casing. Uh, because we're going to do a little modification. So if you want to follow me to the front of the car, that'd be great. Now what we have here is just a bunch of little uh, little screwdrivers and you're going to have to be be careful with this. Take your time, no big hurry. But you're going to have to take these screwdrivers and uh, you're gonna have to pry this casing out under here. You might need two screwdrivers, and you're probably gonna need a uh, needle nose just to pull this. And this thing, man, this is so hard to do. There we go. Got that tab lifted. And then these side ones are the things that are the worst. And you might have to be a little brutal with it as well. And like I said, it takes a little bit of time. And you might have to use more than one screwdriver. Or you might have to use a thicker screwdriver. Whatever. Whatever gets the job done without breaking it. But you will have to take this apart in order to slow down your uh, sequential taillights on any kind of Mustang you got. And it is a little bit of a process, but I didn't even need a needle nose. Awesome. Now, I already did this one. This one's already done. But this is what the inside of your flasher looks like. Go to Radio Shack and get yourself a 4 uh capacitor. I don't know if you can see that too well. This thing, I don't know, $1.50, something like that. Make sure it is... The spacing is 10 millimeters, which you probably need that. The tolerance is plus 20%. Operating temperature is negative 40 degrees to 5 degrees Celsius. Pretty far range. And uh, this is a 35 watt DC maximum. Like I said, it's a 4.7 UF capacitor with a 35 watt maximum. Now this is the old uh, capacitor that I took as a... Uh, I believe it's a 3.3 UF 50 watt. Yeah, I took that off of there. Okay, I just snipped it as close as I could. Still had my leads out here, and then I soldered of this. Usually, it looks like this without this uh, this other capacitor on here. I threw that together, and uh, this is this is what I came up with. And what you're going to need is a soldering iron, maybe some needle nose. Uh, some solder, really simple. Dollar fifty, do everything. So when you're done with that, pop it back in the exact same way you had it. Push it down in there until it clicks. You might have to use a screwdriver because uh, this one in on me flapped open. There we go. She's all ready to go. Now, 
I do have a stock flasher with the 3.3 UF capacitor in it still. Uh, I'll throw that in here. This is just one that I picked up from AutoZone. All right. And this is just the stock flash. So uh, I'll open up the garage door. And I'll throw this one in here. And you can see stock versus the new flash. keys. I have no idea where I put my keys. I thought you put them in your pocket. I thought I put them in my pocket too. I guess I did put them on top. Well here, you know what? Hazards. This is the stock speed when you do sequential taillights. They're, uh, they're pretty darn quick and that's with the 3.3 UF capacitor. Now I'm going to plug that one that I modified in here for only $1.50. And away we go. Much slower. Uh, it's not so much the resistance. It's uh, some other electrical term when it comes to capacitors because it's not a resistor. It's a capacitor. But this is how slow they will turn. And I'll even uh, I'll even turn on just the turn signal for you. So now you can see all three tail lights going at once. And yes, those are LED lights. And if you walk up front, it's really not that much difference. It's just a little bit slower than usual, but people get the idea. Some states require you to have anywhere from 50 to 120 flashes per minute, which is uh, pretty radical. This is flashing at about 57 flashes per minute just a little bit under a second a piece, which is pretty good. But instead of you buying uh, a new flasher relay for $25 from whoever, you can go out to Radio Shack, do it yourself for $1.50. And it's not that complicated. You could probably find some forums online how to do it. And uh, if I could do it, you could do it. <laughs>